G'day everybody, this is Mr. Ozvio 1985 here with a brand new video and welcome to my new and approved, hopefully, monthly watching roundup video series um, for December. Now basically this is similar to what I've tried to do beforehand. This is, will be a monthly what I've been watching for, for in a month, whole month. Um, movie, perhaps TV wise as well. I have a bit of a, a stack of stuff. Um, I ranged in new movies that have come out this year and movies that I've had in my collection for a couple of years anyway. I'll start off with the new ones. And any of these ones, um, most of some of these may be featured in upcoming series like my. Um, sci-fi movie reviews or and other things like that I'm, I may do down the line. But anyway, let's get started. Um, first one is Lucy. Of course this stars um, Scarlett Johansson and Morgan Freedom. Average persons use 10% of their brain. Capable of today she is, will hit 100. Um, a very interesting film. Uh, basically uh, Lucy stars okay, is, is tricked by her boyfriend into delivering a brew case where she is grabbed and held hostage by um, um, Miss, Mr. Jones, Jax. Um, they're kind of trying to smuggle drugs um, into different areas and somehow something happens and those drugs get into her system and she's able to use 100% of her, of her brain. Now it's, it's very interesting one uh, very interesting. I, I, I enjoy them. So, Lucy. And of course, we have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The remake, not remake, the reboot, remake, what I want to call it, of the Turtles. Um, in this green kind of one. Um, it comes with these um, little things as well that put around your ears, around your eyes. I have to say, I really enjoyed it. I really did. Yes, it's different from the um, turtles from the 90s, the you know, movies that came out, which I absolutely um, love all three films. Yes, even the third one. Another little bit of difficult on the third one. Um, very different, but I enjoy all three. Um, um, I grew up on the with the original 80s turtles, which. What the me? Even below. I do have the um, couple seasons of the original 80s Turtles. I do. I really enjoy this one. Yes, it's very different um, style of it. Very different tale of the origin of it all. But yes, this one highly recommend. I will probably talk. I want to talk about this more in more in upcoming videos. So yes, the Teenage Mutant Turtles. Really enjoy this one. Um, the next one is. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, uh, because the sequel to the Rise of the Planet of the Apes um, thing, and I have to say this is has to be up there to has to be up there for one of the uh, one of the better um, Planet of the Ape movies. It probably it, I would say up there as the original um, ninth original Planet of the Apes with Charles and Heston it has to be you know on par with that one. I highly enjoy this one. Um, very different style of it, you know, it's when the um, in, it's the 20, 26, 2026 and humanity, humanity has been pushed to nearly extinction by a deadly virus when a group of survivors find the source of power into the woods near San Francisco. Let's go a highly developed community of intelligent apes led by Caesar. To see, these species have evolved to peace over again, but grown grown themselves into hunting or a war. Um, the C, what do they call it? Not the C, CGI um, motion caption for the um, apes are fantastic. They do really look like they are real apes. Um, so yes, so Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, one of my highly ones that I was looking forward to this year. Uh, that one is from the latest movie from Marvel, Garlic Garlicans. 
Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, never heard about, never heard anything about the, um, this before. Um, going in, it really is fantastic. The um, scenery, the um, space, and all that. Very epic um, scenery and, and stuff like that. Uh, what's the saying? No, group, these groups of misfits have now have to try to work together to stop evil and stuff like that. Uh, and you know, Marvel's Cinema the Universe expanded into the Bush space adventure with things like that. Really enjoy this one. Uh, the next one we have Edge of Tomorrow with Tom Cruise in it. Um, highly recommend it. This is a very interesting one as well. Um, about about Tom Cruise character is forcing to reliving the same events over and over again until he's until he is um, an alien race by the Assist any assisting military unit has launched a ruthless attack on Earth and Major William Cage, Tom Cruise has finally himself dropped into a suicide mission and killed within minutes. Cage is thrown into time loop, forcing to live out the same brutal combat over and over, fighting or dying again, dying again, training or the warrior. And it's realised that somehow when he goes into the he actually is some kind of um, things getting in his bloodstream and he's able to live out his every day and again before he realises. <coughs> yes, there is the dog outside barking. Sorry about that. That's not my dog. Um, so yes, Age of Tomorrow. Another one is a Robert um, Redford Red 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 or his loss. Um, not very much to say about this. is about a man who gets caught into a um, storm in the middle of nowhere and he has to try to survive the elements. It's more about the more about the dramatics, about how survival and all that. Not a lot of not a lot of um, words spoken in this one. Um, a pure cinematic din as well. So all the slots. Um, I have the transcendent with Johnny Depp. Another another intelligent kinds of thing about using of uh, artificial intelligence and things like that. Um, he is actually he goes to this some kind of conference and he's hit by a bullet that actually kills him and they're trying to survive his thing they so they upload his um, thing into a artificial intelligent kind of things and yes a very interesting one as well this one also has um, this one also has Morgan Freeman in this one as well. Uh, next one, I think came out last year, or was, I know it's just 2004, we have the Mondrian Men. It's about, based on the true events of the greatest tr tr treasure in history, hunting history, delivers a thrilling action, priceless performance from on all-star acceptable cast, including George Clooney, Matt Damon, Bill Murray, John Goodman, and Kate um, Blanchett. Um, so they have to go try to. This is in the middle of the um, World War Two, and they have to try to go around the world, around the thing to rescue things from the Nazis. So yes, I really enjoy this one. So those are all movies that came out this year recently. I move along with someone's things just briefly. We got the Escape Plan. Um, with Arnie and Sloane. Really enjoy this one. Um, so, this one. We have Jack Reek Richer. Richer. Now, funny thing about this is I was watching this the other day and I thought to myself, different scenes I, I watched it and I think, I must have seen this before. So, I don't know if I. This, this Blu ray only, only picked up this year, I think. So, I must have picked. 
I'm seeing this before on TV. It must be on TV. It's only one when it got brought to the end of the movie. I feel um, I realize I can really enjoy this one. Of course, this one sounds Tom Cruise. Finally watched um, Gravity. Um, only a couple of weeks. Uh, it's last week. Um, and it is as good as people say it is. Um, it's a very um, emotional one. Being out in space, disaster happens. Um, best movie of the year from times. And of course, this came out last year. Um, so yes, Gravity, really enjoy this one. This came out in... Uh, what's it say? I think it was a couple of years ago. We have the Butler. Um, because it's based on true, spy by a true story on um, the Butler, one of the Butler who serves um, the presidents in the um, White House very emotional ones so yeah really enjoy this one this one actually came out last year I'm pretty sure which I should actually <laughs> if anything I've got it, I got this for Christmas I bought the I bought this after Christmas time last year and that is now you now you see me about these kind of um, performers magic tricks you know people tell p magic super group that ha and I have a different do all the magic tricks. Someone meets, reads minds, all these things, and they all together to make this kind of big um, con of sorts. So yes, really enjoy this one. And uh, there's another one which has more confusion in it. Freedom. And another one we have the man twice, man mental twice. Um, this stars more confusion. Um, Christopher Walker and Will H. Macy, Macy, Macy. Um, it's about these three security guards of a museum that find out that they're, they're, they're the ones that find out they all have a, a special piece of art that they really enjoy when they find out the museum is going to be shifting those pieces and a lot of things to another country, I think it's another country that decides to steal, not decided to replace the original art with fakes and here yeah, it's a f very funny one in moments as well so yeah that is all of the movies I've watched in the month of December not a lot of um, Christmas food fourteen movies in the month of December, not a lot of Christmas ones, because um, I've been I watch Christmas ones on TV. You know the um, Christmas Vacation. Um, I think I watched another couple of other ones on t things as well. So I hope you do enjoy this much, hopefully improved monthly watching roundup. And hopefully, 14 movies. Hopefully next month, I'll make it 15. Hopefully, see what happens. Um, if you have seen any of these movies, feel free to film, feel free to leave a comment, what do you think about them? And I hope you enjoyed this new setup. Until my next video, this is Mr. Oz Video 1985 saying bye for now, bye forever, bye for now, not forever, and I'll catch you next year.